Hey guys, and um, welcome to part two of my Shadow Priest, no, not Shadow Priest, Discipline Priest guide. Uh, I'm going to be healing Darumu the Vagon in LFR, and it looks like, who is the tank? Is who's going to pull? This guy's going to pull, so I'll shield him, and I'll renew him. And I will get a shield, I will start to heal, there we go. So, basically what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to top him off, and see as well. There we go, and now I'm just going to atone my heal because there's not much damage at the moment coming in for the raid, so there's not much else I can do except atone and heal as that, you know, will be more DPS. Um, I'm going to back off for this thing. Um, when they pop here, I'll pop my Shadow Fiend. The last time they, like, I joined and they failed the burst the first time. They popped at the start, but they didn't, they're not going to pop it this time. That's fine. I'm going to Prayer Mender him again and renew him again. Uh, there we go, now I'm going to pop my Shadow Fiend and just Atonement heal the boss until and then I'm also going to pop my Archangel uh, finally, I've got to go over here which is easy easy enough last time they failed under beams they didn't find the things we need to find right, where is it? it's here, there we go, I found it and then we got to kill it but people aren't going to kill it but it's fine I will smart heal it and there is a different tank tanking now, so I will go and shield him. And I will renew him as well. And then I'll continue to smite heal as there's not much damage going through. Uh, there's not much I, I can't really I can't really go through healing as it's so far. Maybe I should do a normal mode boss or something. But uh, if I, like when people start taking more damage, I will pray of bending the the party with the low, like the, with the lowest health. I will use more healing spells, I will, you know, heal and stuff, uh, like, you know, I'll use heal, well, what I mean is I'll use heal, like the heal spell, and flash heal and great heal, depending on, uh, who, like, if people need the healing, um, I think we got rid of everything, no, we got one remaining, where is it? Beware. Oh, there we go, okay, because last time they failed on the beams and then everyone died to the disintegration beam, so... And when the disintegration beam starts, I'm going to find where I need to stand, and then I will, sp I will pop spirit shell, and then I will, um, because people are going to take damage from the purple stuff, and then they'll, it'll, you know, it won't do as much damage as I pop spirit shell on them. Um, I'm still just going to keep smite healing. There's not much else you need to do in situations like this, but uh, bubble the tank. Rid of the tank. Just keep renewing on him basically. And I have mass over macro so that I can just do it like from like I can keep target keep the boss targeted and just heal the people I need to heal. I'm just doing that. Where do I need to stand? It's this side. No, it's this side. Pop spirit shell, pops inner focus. Heal my party, heal that party, and then heal that party. And then heal that party. Spirit shells about to run out. Everyone is dying to this integration beam anyway. And now we've got a car oh, we gotta start moving. I'm gonna try and heal that guy up with flash heal because he's low. And he seems to doesn't want to move, so but it's okay because this is this is better than last time. Last bit last time more people had died. Which I think had something to do with the beams not being down yet. And now we're all moving, and you can use penance on the move, which is nice. Uh, if you take the glyph, so you should probably take the glyph for a fire like this. Um, pair it and it's using all my single target spells right now. There we go, and we're done. So, we got through that, and I'm just going to continue to smite heal the boss as we need the damage really because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, six people died. So. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically healing as a shadow priest. Oh, shadow priest, a different priest. Uh, you got to keep barrier up on people that need it, renew up. Prey of mending with slow damage. Prey of healing if you AoE, healing AoE. Great heal people that need it. Flash heal if you need to. There we go, that guy's got that. Lightning gaze. I could just stay here probably and I'm gonna kill it before the next um, next disintegration beam, so it doesn't matter what other things are. So, yeah, uh, this is how, basically this is uh, how you heal as a shadow priest, as a distant priest. I keep saying shadow priest. Um, a, it involves a lot of atonement healing when there's not much going on, but that's that's really good because you can do a lot of damage. Um, overall, I did five million damage, which is 
just two million less than this arms warrior who's probably afk could sell off but yeah so thanks for watching if the guide helped leave a like and uh, there's going to be more guides coming and yeah so i'll see you guys in the videos in the future